Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing fine. You know, capacitors are charge storing device. They can be combined in series as well in parallel. In this video, we are going to discuss what happens when capacitors are connected in a series. Here I have taken three capacitors and connected them in series. When I say series combination, it means we connect the, the second terminal of first capacitor to the first terminal of second capacitor and so on. Here I have taken electrolytic capacitors. Electrolytic capacitors are polar capacitors. They have negative and positive terminals. So in this case, negative terminal of first uh, capacitor is connected to positive terminal of uh, second capacitor and so on. Now I will uh, measure the total capacitors of these capacitors connected in series. Here I have used one microfarad capacitor. All of them are of the same value. Now, I will measure the capacitors with the help of this clamp meter. I will set this clamp meter to measure capacitors. Now, I have set this clamp meter to measure the capacity, capacitance of capacitor. I place a direct probe here and a black probe is placed here. When I do so, it reads 337 nanofarad that is equal to 0.33 microfarad. Now we will measure the capacitance of each capacitor. Here the capacitance offered by this one is 1 microfarad. It is also around 1 microfarad. And this also have capacitance around 1 microfarad. So I will measure the total capacitance once again. Total capacitance is 337 nanofarad, which is equal to 0 0.337 microfarad. This shows that when capacitors are connected in series, the total capacitance always reduces. Now, I will show you what happened to the voltage when the capacitors in a series combination are connected to a battery. Here I have this battery which is made by connecting three double SL. Just I connect the positive terminal to this end and the negative terminal is connected to this end of the capacitors in a series combination. Now turn on the battery. Now first I will check the voltage across the terminals of this battery. Before that I will set the clamp meter to measure DC voltage. Now I set this clamp meter to measure DC voltage. I place this across the terminals of this battery. The voltage supplied is 4.84 volt. Now I will measure the voltage across each capacitor. That is 1. 
is uh, okay, what is it? I will wait for some time. I will measure this point seven. Okay. Also point seven, and it is the point. Now the voltage across them is 4.84. This is the voltage supplied by this uh, battery. Now I have shown you the voltage across each capacitor is different. Now I will show this once again. The voltage across this capacitor is 1.6 now this here is 9.9 volt there it is 0.4 volt so the voltage across each capacitor is different the switch of this this shows that voltage across the capacitor connected in series is not the same and uh, the total capacitance decreases when capacitors are connected in series. I consider three capacitors C1, C2 and C3 connected in series to a cell that provides voltage V. When it is done so, electrons from the negative terminal of the cell goes to the right uh, terminal of capacitor C3. So it becomes negatively charged. Suppose uh, uh, the charge of these electrons supplied to the right terminal of capacitor C3 is considered as minus Q. Then same number of electrons of charge minus Q are removed from the left terminal of capacitor C3. So, it occurs a positive charge. We know whenever electrons come out of an object, the orbit becomes positively charged. And the orbit which receives electron becomes negatively charged. The electrons which are left from this terminal are received by the right terminal of capacitor C2. So it becomes negatively charged. The same thing happens here when uh, the right terminal receives uh, electrons, the same number of electrons are left from this terminal of uh, capacitor C2. So it becomes uh, positively charged. The, capa uh, the electrons which are removed from L are accumulated here in the right terminal of uh, capacitor C1. So it becomes negatively charged and uh, the process goes goes on. Now the same number of electrons are removed from left terminal of C1 and goes to positive terminal of the cell. This is how capacitor C1, C2, and C3 in a series combination receive charge. You always remember this when components are connected in series combination. In series combination. Voltage. changes it is a voltage vary in a series combination and uh, current or charge remains same throughout why 
we have heard about the current. Why charge also remains same? The reason is we have studied current I is a rate of flow of charge is Q upon T. When I changes, when uh, currently speaking, when uh, Q changes, I will also change. There is a reason why Q remains same and I also remains same in, the, in a series combination. Okay, by keeping this in mind, if we measure the voltage across these capacitors, we will find it do not remain the same that we have found experimentally. I take a voltage across capacitor C1 as V1 and here voltage is V2 and uh, across this uh, capacitor voltage is measured as V3. So we have 3 voltage for 3 different capacitors. <coughs> but uh, all of them possess same amount of charge. The so charge accumulated here is Q, here also Q and here also Q because charge remains same. So by keeping this in mind, if I want to find the total voltage across this, then I will replace this uh, circuit with an equivalent circuit. So what I do, in the place of these three capacitors, I take a, a single capacitor which have capacitance equal to the capacitance of these three capacitors converted in series. So I take uh, the capacitance of this uh, capacitor as C. Yes, it means uh, capacitance of capacitors converted in series. The battery of same voltage. So this is the, the equivalent circuit diagram of this one. Okay. Now let's go ahead. I will find out the value of a series. So that. I will start with this. Here, total voltage V is found to be the combination of V1, V2, and V3. We know one thing capacitance of a capacitor is the ratio of charge and voltage. So, from this, V can be obtained by cross multiplication. I take V that side. So C will come to the denominator. So V equals to Q upon C. This is what we obtain. So for convenience, I take this equation and write it as V equals to Q upon C. Yes, here C is the capacitance of capacitors converted in series that I have mentioned here. So I box this as well. Then I am going to mention the value of V1, V2 and V3 separately. Here V1. Is taken as Q upon I'm sorry Q upon C one. 
and uh, V2 is equal to Q upon C2 and uh, V3 equals to Q upon C3. If you co compare these three equations, you may find uh, all of them have Q similar because in a series formulation Q remains same but the C value changes. Now I am going to substitute these four equations in this equation. So for convenience I take this one as equation number 1, this is equation number 2 and this is equation number 3, this is 4, this is 5. Now I am going to substitute substituting equation number 2, 3, 4 and 5 in equation number 1. If I do so then this equation will become something like this. Well, in the place of V at it, Q upon C S. In the place of V1, I write Q upon C1. In the place of V2, I write Q upon C2. In the place of V3, I write Q upon C3. Here, if you look at this carefully, you will find in this three part of the equation, Q is a common. So it is taken out. 1 upon C1, 1 upon C2, 1 upon C3. And here, this can be written as Q into 1 upon Cs. Here, this Q and this will cancel. And what remains is nothing but 1 upon Cs equals to 1 upon C1 plus 1 upon C2 plus 1 upon C3. Now I box this final equation. Now in the experiment, I have taken three capacitors and I connected them in series. Each one of those capacitors have capacitance equal to one microfarad. If I substitute that one here, that will tell you what I get. One upon C S. So one by one. So one microfarad, then in the place of C2 I write 1, in the place of C3 I take 1. Then combine them. So we know 1 by 1 is nothing but 1. So what I get is 1 by C is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 3 micro farad. This is what I obtain. Then C is equal to 1 upon 3 micro farad. That means C is equal to 0.33 microfarad. This is what I obtained. This is the value shown by the clamp meter. So, from this, one thing is understood. When we connect capacitors in series, then the reciprocal of total capacitance is equal to the sum of reciprocal of capac capacitance of each capacitor. I hope the video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt related to the topic, kindly put your questions in the comment section. Thanks for watching.